Good evening, everyone. Welcome, moms and dads and special guests to our spring concert. Behind me are amazing young people, your children, um, and we are so proud of them. They work so hard all year long. Mrs. Davis, who leads our band program, is a phenomenal director of our band program, has been so busy throughout this year, leading them all <coughs> over. All, that was awesome. Leading, leading them all over, the, literally the county and, and uh, down to Orlando, and she's been all over the place with these young people. They work so hard. Uh, it is so fun to watch them as they've developed as musicians. They are also incredible scholars in the classroom, and so they do so many things. And so, students, we're so proud of you. Tonight's going to be an amazing night as we just enjoy your talent. Um, please know, moms and dads, just be, please be very aware that all those wine glasses you see on the stage, I promise you, there's no wine in them, but just wanted to point that out. Um, it's great to be here at First Baptist Mount Juliet, and it's great to be a part of Mount Juliet Christian Academy. Thank you for being with us. Let me open in prayer, and we're just going to let these students lead us in a great night. God, it's good to be in your presence. It's good to be with parents and, and special guests as we just enjoy these talented young people. God, you have gifted them. You have blessed them. You have filled them. And they are going to do amazing things in your kingdom. And tonight is just one very special moment in all the good things you're doing in their life. Thank you for Mrs. Davis, all the work that she pours into them. God, thank you for these parents and, and grandparents and special guests and all that they do on the home front. Continue to raise them up, God, to be difference makers in this world. And we just pray that your presence, you would be the honored guest tonight among us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And with that, Imaginarium. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mrs. Berryman. I am the upper school art teacher here at MJCA. Um, just want to say thank you so much for coming out to support the fine arts department here at the academy. Um, you will have the amazing pleasure of experiencing a collaboration in both music and art this evening as um, some artwork is displayed on the screen for a few of the songs. Um, you will notice in your program as well that there are classes and students listed for those who have um, chosen to submit artwork this evening. Um, and there are also going to be some students who have volunteered to come on stage and um, guide you through this musical journey tonight um, for some of the artwork and the pieces that will be um, played tonight. We have been so blessed in the Fine Arts Department in uh, being supported by both FBC MJ and um, the Academy and Administration. Um, if you would like to be a part of that blessing, there is a QR code on the screen as well as uh, posted on some of the displays outside in the Commons. Um, so if you would like to directly support the uh, Fine Arts Department, you can scan that with your phone and um, support us directly. But again, thank you so much for coming out to support us. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Academy. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Created in the image of our most creative God, there's a place within every person where creativity dwells. Gears turn, dreams flow, and ideas spark into life. The idea factory, or imaginarium, is the place that every creative person goes when possibilities end and dreams take over. After the creation of all things on the sixth day, God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. Take a journey with us into imaginarium. Thank you. 
by uh, English composer Gustav Holst is the first movement from the second suite for our m military band. Written in 1911, this piece was not performed until 1922. It takes a simple five note phrase played at the beginning and uses folk tunes combined creatively to make up uh, this traditional march. Even though the tempo uh, stays the same host uh, use his imagination to tie these two melodies together to open the second suite for band. Gustav Holst has inspired other familiar composers through his music, such as John Williams, who wrote the music for Star Wars and many other, uh, and Hans Zimmer, who is well known for the film scores to The Lion King and The Pirates of the Caribbean. There is no limit to how imagination can inspire others. <laughs> Thank you. 
last month, our beginning and middle school band competed and won an excellent rating in the solo and ensemble competition, Gallatin, Tennessee. They performed the next piece, as well as Healers and Glory, which will be performed later in the program. With changing moods and driving rhythms, this piece reminds us to weather the storms of life and that when we work together with God, there is nothing that we cannot accomplish. The next piece played by the high school band is based on a classic hymn, How Firm a Foundation. The text for the hymn first appeared in 1787 and was a favorite of an American president, Andrew Jackson. The opening text reads, How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for you for your faith in God's excellent word. The hymn is played very plainly near the beginning, but includes variations of the same melody throughout. As you listen, see if you can find all seven creative variations of this classic hymn. Thank you. 
Jazz music is the only musical art form created by Americans. The following two selections are categorized as jazz music. The first, the first played, wait, the first piece of play, the first piece played by the MJCA Swinging Saints Jazz Band was written by George and Ira Gershwin. They were brothers living in New York City who loved this new style of music and imagined an all new American sound in their jazz music. piece of music will be played by MJCA sixth grader Joseph Roll on piano, written by the American composer Tom Gray. He uses creative jazz style similar to the Gershwin brothers on his piano solo.
So uh, this next selection is going to be performed uh, on our brand new uh, Five Octave Rainbow. What do we get this like? Monday. Um, it's going to be performed by a new JCA freshman, personal friend of mine, Jonathan Yates. I want to say hi, Jonathan, because he doesn't like attention. All right. Now for the script part. All right. As we develop the skills necessary uh, to work together to do great things, it is also important for us to develop our individual skills uh, so that we have the ability to create the art that God has inherently gifted us all with. Uh, performances like these will be encouraged in our MJCA Tri M Honor Society recital being hosted in early spring semester of next year for the entire student body. Uh, the most original named song, Rhythm Song, uh, by American composer Paul Smadnik fuses elements of African, Latin, Gamelan, uh, jazz fusion together to, to create this captivating work for Rome.
Heroes come in many forms. They are the ones we see, they're the ones we read about in history, and they're the ones that they're the ones that we see in movies and cartoons. They're also the ones that teach us every day in school and at home. Many times these heroes are not celebrated. Many things that they do for us may go unnoticed. The following songs and pop art of some of our favorite heroes represent how we see the everyday works these heroes do. We hope the heroes in this audience know that you are loved and appreciated. Please visit the art gallery and the commons area to see some of our pop versions of our heroes.
The images you're about to see are the mixed media creatures that the 7th and 8th grade students have created using various paper materials and drawing mediums. You will notice that each paper material displays a different drawing medium, such as pen, pencil, colored pencil, and more. The next song, Harouche, is defined as a wild herd state of confusion. It is the most disciplined interval of the music, the tritone. The word Harouche first appeared on the national scene during the 2005 National Spell Movie. Imagine these artistic creatures moving wildly as you listen to the piece.
get in front of the dinosaur bones in the space that they occupy. The song of the band is about to play with the artist being displayed in this space on structure. I think art, but these must be the imagination. This is called aleatoric music, music to evoke emotion or set a scene. Notice the unusual instruments used to create the drama for each section of the piece. You'll hear the Triceratops fanfare, the mystery of the cave of the Stegosaurus, the wonder as they sing the swamp of the Iguanodons, and the battle as the Rhinosaurus meets the Pterodactyls. Thank <laughs> you. 
We got to experience the wonder of God's creation during the eclipse that took place on April 8th, a few weeks ago. Though much of the event was covered in clouds, we were able to share special moments together as we tried to catch a glimpse of this amazing display of God's imagination and deep detail in creation. Join with us as we sing to our God in remembering that the stars and planets were made to worship. Then so will I. Thank you. 
MJCA Swing and Saints Jazz Band has explored improvisation, making up music over a given structure. This is displayed in many solos in the next classic blues chart by jazz saxophonist Charlie Parker. The MJCA Jazz and Pet Bands have participated in community outreach with the Wounded Warriors Soldier Ride, have performed for the residents at Providence Place, and participated in this year's Jazz Fest, Fest Central at Trebekah University. The dedicated band members come before school each day during the week for rehearsal. One particular bass player enjoys bringing the group challenges and challenged us with the second chart that will be played called Whiplash. It is written in 7-4 time. See if, you, see if you get Whiplash while trying to keep up with the beat.
In the final song tonight, you can hear the speed and rhythmic energy of running water, then an area of calm, and then the fast running white water again. This piece was performed by some of the middle and high school students um, in Orlando, Florida this March, where they earned the top superior rating. Just as life has fun and exciting times and times of meditation, we are reminded that through the race of life, Jesus is our living water. He, he is right there with us in the fast and the slow of life, be encouraged no matter what, where life takes you or what our imaginations bring us through. Jesus is with us all the way. Thank you. 
expecting Ms. Davis to say something really profound um, at the end of that. So can we give a round of applause for our students? For Ms. Davis. For Ms. Berryman. Thank you, Ms. Big Way. And for Ms. Joy Padilla. I would also like to thank Sam Anderson in the back. Sam, give us a big wave. And Mr. Keith Yates, the most dedicated tech volunteer that you will ever get into every program helping us out. So I did actually have some announcements. I should have been next. Thank you, Ms. Posey, for being so gracious. Um, I, first of all, would love to just thank um, you all, the families. Band takes a lot. Um, artists are very introverted and sometimes bring their own set of um, fun. So um, we are just grateful that you are willing to walk alongside as our students develop, um, as they explore what God has um, inherently gifted them with, and um, as they really pull into their imagination and just develop that. Um, through that biblical lens, which is what we're here for. Um, I would like to acknowledge some folks who've been really important to the band in particular this last year. Um, I could not have done marching band and um, all that we did in the fall uh, without my um, marching band um, tech crew and everyone who helped with that, in particular, Carrie Bartlett and her family. Um, if you have helped with Marching Band Tech Crew, would you stand so that we can just acknowledge you and thank you for all that you've done this last season? It takes a crew, we know, to put things on like this, so um, we're ever so grateful. If you haven't been into our new band room, um, Many of you have been with us for quite a while and know that the last four years have brought kind of a crazy journey on this campus since the tornado. We're not allowed to say that anymore. Um, but it, they have. Um, so uh, I would like to invite you down to our new band space. We're so grateful for Ms. Helen Bass who um, gave a large donation to the church and to the school and um, they chose to, to spend a bit of that on um, investing in our band students and our young musicians. So please come down and enjoy that. We sure are, aren't we guys? We love our new space. Um, they're just tired, it's too soon. <laughs> if you haven't been down there recently, also I'd like to thank um, Anthony Lures and family. I really appreciate you guys for all of your work. Mr. Melvin Lures, if you guys wanna stand, they built some new shelving for us, so come down and see that. It actually took about seven days of donated time. So we're ever so grateful. Thank you so much to you and your family. Um, also would like to um, acknowledge Mr. Joseph Tomez. He's a band parent, but also has just joined the staff here at MJCA um, for um, all that he does around our campus. And you are definitely one of those unsung heroes. Um, I do want to announce what our marching band show will be for this next year, and some of the kids already know. So Sam, if you'll put that um, on the screen there. Um, we always tie a, a scripture into what we do, um, and it's very important that we, as believers, make that a huge part of what we do. Um, the show is called, gonna be called The Battle Within. We're gonna be rolling out some new band uniforms and um, make us look really sharp on the field. So I'm really excited for all of that and all of the change that's coming because it's all about building team spirit and trying to grow us here as a school as the saints here on this campus. Um, and the band is a huge part of that. So thank you for your extra efforts. Really excited about that and about what God is gonna do in our hearts as we dig into uh, this new show in the fall. Wherever you're at, whether you're on this campus or you're somewhere else, we pray that um, God is in your, um, in your foresight and, and you're just um, really focused on his direction in your life and know that our, the teachers here at this school pray that every day for each and every one of your students. Um, it's about their relationship with the Lord. So we're ever so grateful that we can be a part of that through the arts. Thank you, Ms. Berriman. Thank you, Ms. Padilla. 
Um, thank you, Mr. Slade, for your leadership this semester and this, uh, this year. We're ever so grateful. We do need to tear down afterwards. We're gonna pray first, but we do need to tear down. We have senior chapel in the morning, so we wanna make sure to leave the space by, uh, spick and span as we um, finish up. The students have some responsibilities as well. So thank you once again. Ms. Behrman, whoever drew that picture of Ms. V, I need that. So Ms. V is retiring after 36 years, and so her retirement party is next Thursday night, if you guys would like to stop by from 6.30, 8.30, and I would like to frame that and give that to her. If you could, get, if you could beg the student to let me have it, that'd be phenomenal. Um, all right, let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you with thankful hearts. Lord, thankful hearts for what fine arts teaches these students, what it's taught them all year, and Lord, what they perform tonight, Lord, but also what fine arts teaches them um, to be lifelong learners, Lord. It teaches so much more than the music that they perform, Lord, and we are very thankful for the leadership that they've had and for the um, students that they've grown into be over the year from the very beginning to what they are now, Lord. And as May approaches and everyone gets so excited about the summer and the sun, if it'll ever stay out long enough, and... Um, Lord, there's, so, there's lots of things that these students will be um, involved in that are fun. But, Lord, we ask that you give them endurance and grit to finish those last tests, those last quizzes, those last projects with everything that we have. And, um, Lord, just give us all safety on the way home. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.